Hello, hello, hello. Good morning, everyone. May galam shout out all the subscribers and followers of this channel. And if you're new to my channel, one subscribe, two like, share. Don't forget to ring the bell buttons for the next notification. Three like. Leave a comment. Subscribe. Four. Subscribe. Alright. Today our lesson is about proving tri triangle congruence. The S is S a postulate. S is S postulate, no? Or side, side, side. So, if all the sides of one triangle are congruent to all of the sides of the second triangle, then the triangles are congruent. So proving triangles are congruent. So why do we need to prove? You know, so reasons to use. So we can say that vertical angle congruent or using the vertical angle theorem, any pair of vertical angles are congruent. For alternate interior angles, alternate interior angles if there are parallel lines then alternate interior angles are congruent for alternate exterior angles okay if there are parallel lines then alternate exterior angles are congruent for corresponding angles okay so, if there are parallel lines, then cor corresponding angles are congruent. So, these are the reasons that we will use. For right angles are congruent. So, from the definition, uh, if, there are, um, if there are perpendicular lines, then there are right triangles, of course. And we all were going also to use a reflexive property. And the reflexive property any segment or angle is congruent to itself. And for example, segment AB is congruent to AB. It's a reflection, actually. Then we have a symmetric property. No? Thorns the name around. Like um, for symmetric, um, we have the thorn around. So like segment AC is congruent to segment CE. Then also we have definition of bisect. No? To cut down the middle, no? so for example, when we say bisect, you need to cut down the middle and then also two equal congruent parts. Third angles theorem, now for if two pairs of angles are congruent, then the third pair is also congruent. Okay, so for example, given we have um, Segment AV is congruent to segment LN, and also segment AC, okay, is congruent to segment LM. So we have here, uh, for example, segment AB, we have one, one, and here, and which is congruent to segment LN, and also the segment AC, this one, and also congruent to segment LM. So these two uh, lines here signifies that. They have the same measure. And also, we have angle A. Like this one, no? angle A um, is congruent to angle L. Then angle um, or segment BC, this one, is also congruent to segment LM. Okay? So, we have the congruent sides. Okay? So, yes, as you can see here. So there are the sides, no? and we have congruent angles, angle A and angle L. 
uh, angle B and angle N and angle C and angle C. So all right angles are congruent, so that is using third angle theorem. Therefore, so triangle ABC is congruent to triangle element from the definition of congruent triangles. Okay, so you have given here, we have segment uh, AB, okay, this part, and segment CD or, yeah, CD or DC, which is um, congruent, no? And then we have also um, BC, okay, this part, and also this part, they are congruent. And also uh, angle B and angle D, okay, this one and this one. And of course, we have two angles, another angle here. These are also congruent, no? Yeah, okay. So, since uh, triangle or, ang or segment AB no, is perpendicular to segment CD and segment BC is perpendicular to segment DA, Therefore, okay, we need to prove that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle ACD. Okay, so AB is congruent to CD. Okay, check. Then BC or segment BC is congruent to DE, so check. Then congruent AC and also CA. That is true symmetric property. This one, no? So, they belong to one diagonal. So, these are congruent. And for our angles, we have angle B and angle D. All right? And then we have uh, angle BC or B, uh, BAC. So, this one, BAC. So, this side here, this one angle, this one, no? And we have angle D. A, D, A, C. Okay, this one. So, we call it alternate interior angle. So, we have here alternate, this one and this one. And, of course, this one also and this one. So, we have uh, angle B, C, uh, angle B, C, A, or um, B, C, A, and then we have angle D, A, D, A, C. So, they are also alternative in their angle. So, we can say that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle ACDE. So, from the definition of congruent triangles. Okay. So, another given here. No? So, we have this part. Okay. So, we have segment um, AB. No? This part. And segment AD. Okay, congruent. So, they are congruent. And, of course, uh, segment DC and segment BC. Okay, here. Okay, these are two sides congruent. So, because... Okay, and then, so, um, angle B is congruent to angle D, like here. Okay? And then, segment uh, AC uh, bisects angle um, D... A, B. So, that means it divides into two. So, we can, we prove, we need to prove that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle ADC. So, um, from the given, uh, so congruent triangles, we have uh, triangle AB. And, okay, so these are, and then AC to, uh, AC is the reflexive property. So, they are congruent. So, no matter what, this one, no? this angle. And for congruent angles, angle B is congruent to angle D. And DAC is congruent to angle B. You see if that is from the definition of bisect. And angle D, D, C, A, okay, this one and this one are the third angle theorem, okay? So, they are congruent. So, therefore, we could say that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle ADC from the definition of congruent angle. Mm. Let's go now to the SSS postulate so that we are really dealing with the SSS postulate. 
So your says is postulate to show that uh, two triangles are congruent. So find the length of its side. So for example, your AC is 5. So this is 5. And your BC is 7. BC, this is 7. So to get the AB, so we have, we're using um, hypotenuse, no? So we this is hypotenuse, no, in the a right triangle so that's square root of 5 or square root of 5 square plus um square root of 5 square plus 7 square that is equals to square root of 74 because 25 plus 49 is 74 for example mo mo is 5 so the same here and no is 7 and of course so we are going to get this one so we have the same no mn okay this the hypotenuse we have square root of 5 square plus 7 square this is square root of 74 therefore we could say that um triangle okay so uh it's it was inverted but it should be like this okay triangle abc is congruent to triangle mno okay So we have here state the third congruence that must be given to prove the triangle uh, ABC is congruent to triangle DEF using indicated post postulate or theorem. So for SSS congruence postulate, so we have here the side. So we have three sides are congruent. No? So we have side, okay, this um, segment AC. Okay, and it's congruent to segment DC, a DF. Okay, congruent. Okay, and we have here triangle uh, congruent. Uh, we have this third angle. So of course, this part in a, a purple color. These are also congruent. So we could say that. Uh, the segment BC is congruent to EF. Okay, so because this is for S is is congruent. All right. All right. So for questions and clarifications, please leave your comment at the comment section. So remember this code. So this will be your journal number five. So be authentic. Be congruent, uh, be authentic, and be your true self. From Muhammad Kandi. Okay? So, uh, it is important that we be true to ourselves. So, be congruent on what we say, we, we do, and we will be happy. Thank you so much, Gerd. Goodbye.